Hello everyone. I am Dr. Varsha Patil. I am a consultant neurologist at Bombay Hospital, Mumbai. On the occasion of National Epilepsy Day, let's know about epilepsy. As per the World Health Organization, around 50 million people suffer from epilepsy worldwide. Of these, around 1 million are in our own country. So we see how big the problem is. What is epilepsy? Epilepsy or Birgi or Akri or Fit or Kench as they call in colloquial languages comprises of attacks in which there is twitching of the hands, twitching of the legs, the eyes may roll up. Sometimes there can be a tongue bite or just frothing from the mouth. Some type of epilepsy fits can also have a little tingling in the hands and in some like in young children there can be attacks in which the child can appear as if he is getting a little frightened or stifled like this. What are the causes of epilepsy? There are causes which are related to the birth and those which can acquire later in life. From the birth defect point of view, there can be some malformations of the brain. Sometimes when there is a difficult labor and damage to the brain while the delivery has happened, some families are prone to have epilepsy. So in their case, it is a genetic condition. And it can also occur as a part of a brain tumor after a uh, road traffic accident or sometimes after there is infection to the brain like TB or meningitis as in our country. Epilepsy is a treatable condition. With proper guidance and treatment, epilepsy is completely curable. What are the myths around epilepsy? A lot of myths circulate around epilepsy. People feel sometimes, especially in the rural areas, that it is a wrath of God. Sometimes they feel that someone has done something like they call Karni in Maharashtrians or sometimes Hawa Lagai. These are very wrong thoughts. Epilepsy has a strong scientific background and a strong scientific reason why it happens. So such patients keep on suffering if they are not brought to the notice of the doctor. And imagine getting episodes while you are just having your food or walking on the road. It can lead to accidents. Sometimes people, especially ladies, suffer because epilepsy is hidden from the family, especially if they are going to get married. So this is wrong. On the occasion of the National Epilepsy Day, let's take an oath that we will not consider epilepsy as an untouchable or a terrible disease. It's a treatable disease. There are many advances that have happened in science. So we have many medicines. These are the tablets and liquid formulations, sometimes injections, which can make the epileptic attacks completely disappear and the patient can live a normal and healthy life. So we have to forget that epilepsy is a problem because there is a solution to it. Let's all conquer epilepsy. Thank you.